Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, Chance. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> doing, doing <laughs> well. So, you see maybe guys who watch us all the time see suddenly that our camera looks slightly different. Our angle, mm -hmm. I think. And we have now a Mivo, and this is a new camera setup here from a new corporation. And this is kind of cool, and we will try it out, and we can really do it, because when Chance is talking, hello, Chance. He's a little bit bigger in the sink, and when I'm talking, I'm getting a little bigger right here. Let's see if this works. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> We're starting and to catch up with the technology here. <laughs> and today it's about Vichy and Saratoga, guys. Two very, very cold spring waters. But here we are. Now it's the full picture. Mm. Chance, how was your week? It was awesome. Really great. I actually got some interest in my script, so I'm doing well. It's all the water, huh? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> all the electrolytes and minerals are just putting me in full power right now. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I love this, Chance. I love this. Now, so this is great news. And today we want to hydrate you with some very cool waters. We're tasting United States versus Spain, and it's Saratoga versus Vichy Catala. And some of you guys who watch all the videos and watch me for other videos as well, you always know that I mostly have Vichy Catalan in my tastings mm -hmm. because this is quite an amazing water. But we will talk about this a little later. So right now, Saratoga has a very interesting and cool story because Saratoga is one of the oldest spring waters here in the United States who comes with a natural carbonation level. Oh, really? And that is, I think, very, very unique. We had Mountain Valley Springs, yeah. what I think is an amazing water as well. Uh, for two or three episodes again, I think this was our episode for the Irish holiday. <laughs> where we tasted all the green waters, we called it. And yeah, it's a nice blue bottle. You're absolutely right. Nice blue bottle. I just saw on my, on my little life feed here as well. So we're still catching up and bear with us, guys. We're still like looking the whole time at the screen and looking at you to see like what's happening <laughs> yeah. on the screen as well. Then we all know what's happening here. Yeah. A little bit of a learning curve. Right? Yeah, it's a learning curve. But <laughs> hey, we're in Hollywood. Yeah. We're pros. We can do it. Anyhow, so Saratoga is a beautiful blue bottle. This is their trademark as well. And this is a natural carbonated water, what I think it's pretty cool. And you can see the yeah. beautiful label right here, Saratoga Springs. That is pretty awesome. With the golden label right here, you see it, it's golden. And when it's silver, that means it's a still version. Oh, really? So they take the carbonation out? Uh, yeah, they okay. take then the carbonation out, correct. And it's over 100 years already, they're bottling this water. And when you look at very, very old pictures of the Saratoga Spring, it says Saratoga Vichy. Really? And that is pretty That's cool, I think. Because we all know Vichy Catalan or the very famous Vichy Spring in France. Oh. But Saratoga used to have the name as well, Saratoga Vichy. Because Vichy is kind of like the synonym for sparkling. Oh, really? So the sparkling waters been there for many, many years ago, called themselves always Vichy. So that's kind of a cool thing as well, I think, to the spring. That's really cool. Anyhow, I'm getting thirsty, Chance. So, so am I. It's getting it's warmer as well. Water. It's springtime, and we need to drink some water here, guys. Okay, let's see. What's the mineral content of Saratoga? TDS of 160. So not that high. Not that high, correct. So, let's see, let's see here. Let's bring back the bottle. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm. So it's a change. What do you think? It's interesting. It's like, um, it's not a citrusy taste as much as it is bitter. It's sort of like, um, like an Alka-Seltzer. That's what yeah. it tastes like. I like that, that you're saying this. It, hasn't, it doesn't have this citrusy taste mm. what we had before by some sparkling waters. Absolutely not. I think the bubbles, are, when you look at this, the bubbles are pretty bold. They are. So they're a little bit more intense. So that's kind of interesting. It has an earthy taste to it as well. Like, like it's still there. Yeah, and exactly. The taste. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I like it a lot. 
I like it too. It's very refreshing. But again, like this is for people who really prefer a uh, heavily sparkling water. Mm -hmm. So this is nothing for like the minor sparkling people under us who are saying like oh tiny bubbles yeah. or maybe just like very tiny uh, carbonation levels. Yeah. This is for people who really prefer something bold in their glass yeah. on their on their sparkliness. I'm just receiving here like a little note. Yes, absolutely. So we're doing the same what we would do with wine tastings. And somebody's asking why you're swirling like, it's like, it's kind of like the same with wine. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. Because when you swirl a wine and you're like smelling, you're smelling first, that's the normal thing what you're doing by wine tasting. That's the reason we're using wine glasses as well for water tastings. And then we're drinking the water, we're putting it into the mouth, and then we're adding carbonation, actually adding oxygen to it. Because mm -hmm. we all know when you're sick, and your nose is yeah. And your nose is, and your nose is filled up. You cannot taste anything. So that's the reason it's always great to have a very like good nose. And nose and taste are all coming together when you're putting oxygen more into your mouth, and then you can actually taste way more of your water. And that is the whole thing why wine people are doing this as well. So they're putting some wine into their glass. They're slurping it. That they can that they can feel and more have a more power of the oxygen carbonation into the mouth and tasting way more out of the wine. That's the same with water. So when we're drinking water, and I'm doing it here again, cheers guys. You see me, I'm adding oxygen to it, and then I'm opening more aromas to the palate. So that is the whole point. Why you see sommeliers um, adding this oxygen? It's nothing like to be fancy or something. It's just to be there to really try to taste all the aspects mm -hmm. of the water. That's the whole point, guys. Okay, now we're going to Spain. Vichy Catalan, one of my favorite waters, I have to say. Uh, I've been introduced to the spring for, I think, around 10 years ago, when I had it for on the first water menu in Germany because I started my water menu in 2005 already, so some people are always saying, a water sommelier, that has to be an LA thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, guys, I started this in 2005, and you can see videos in 2007 already on YouTube, on my Facebook channel, or my Facebook channel and my YouTube channel as well, where you can see me videos and tasting, obviously just in German, sorry, I never thought about it, to do water <laughs> tastings in English back in the That's days, funny. but there are a lot of water tastings with me in the German language from 2007 already. Okay, Vichy Catalan comes a little bit northern of Barcelona, like around 100 miles up north from Barcelona, and rises by 140 degrees Fahrenheit out of the spring. So it's a very, very hot water, guys. And this is loaded with minerals. And this is always what I'm saying, Vichy is almost like the Red Bull of waters. Because there's tons of waters, uh, tons of minerals in this water, and we're talking about a TDS level of 3,050, guys. Oh, wow. So this is really quite something. So, so almost 30 times the minerals yes. as Saratoga. So this is, I think, really crazy almost. That is a tons of yeah, minerals. Yeah, that's, that's insane. And let's compare, because we always love for the camera to compare the two waters as well. And I think that would be interesting as well to see how different the two waters already look in their glass. Mm -hmm. And let's see, I will add them here a little bit to the camera. And you will see here, this is the Saratoga. Here we go. This is Saratoga, and this is Vichy. They are both sparkling waters. And I think it's quite interesting to see as well that the Vichy doesn't have almost any bubbles versus the Saratoga has tons of bubbles already in the glass. So sometimes people are even saying like, come on, look look at the water so many, so they're crazy. They're looking even at the glass. Yeah. Come on, it's water, it's clear. Hey, you see the difference right here? I see it and everybody can see it. And that's the whole point why we are like looking at a glass as well, because you can already see how the carbonation is like reduced in the glass. Anyhow, Vichy, let's try it. Let's do it. Cheers, cheers guys. Oh. 
Oh yes. Oh wow. Oh yes. That is quite something. Totally different than mm -hmm. than, than Saratoga. What do you think, Chad? The carbonation is definitely lighter. It doesn't have like the the strong acidic or bitter taste to it, but it's really, really salty. Really yeah. salty. I totally agree with you. Um, it's totally different in the mouthfeel. It doesn't have the carbonation level what Saratoga has. So for people who prefer something very sparkling, this would be then the Saratoga. And yes, somebody said right now, um, huge bubbles. Absolutely, Saratoga has huge bubbles. Versus Vichy, they're very fine, like yeah. a champagne palette. Yeah. They're very, very subtle. And you can barely see anymore the bubbles. Look at the glass. There are almost no bubbles anymore in Vichy, but you can taste them when you drink them. So that's kind of cool. That's very interesting. And when we talk about the mineral content, that is a totally different story, guys. So everybody, yeah, and I think everybody in a blind tasting can see it right away. When you would drink Saratoga versus Vichy, it's so different in taste. So different in taste. The, the Saratoga has like this earthy note what we just talked about and has very bold bubbles versus Vichy is really complex, has a super salty aftertaste and there's a video guys on YouTube as well and you should check it out. Me and Conan O'Brien tasting Vichy Catalan. It's hilarious guys. And Conan is spitting the water out. So what he does is literally like this. Hey! Through the whole studio. That's hilarious. And it was really like for him so shocking because he thought I added something in there. He said like, come on, it's like an aspirin in there or like something like a medication or something. Yes, it has a taste of like uh, aspirin dissolved in the water. This is the typical taste of Vichy Catalan. What I think it's remarkable. It's so, so, so cool. And I always look, when I'm looking for water tastings and I'm looking for new waters, I'm always looking for some characteristics into water and Vichy definitely have that. So for me, Vichy is one of my favorite waters. I love Saratoga as well. I think they're both amazing waters, but Vichy is quite something. And Vichy is so unique in taste, I think, Chance, that everybody and people who are like listening to us and seeing this right now will say maybe, oh, come on, yeah. They know the labels and they know what it is and therefore they cannot taste the difference. Trust me, everybody on this planet can taste the difference in Vichy Carala. It's so unique, that water. And it's interesting too, the, the salty taste and the combination of the um, carbonation almost gives it like a creamy taste. It's yeah, like, it's weird. you're absolutely right. And this is very unique, that you have a water, what is not that bold in bubbles, has like a very subtle thing, so you don't have this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm effect the whole time in the restaurant what you maybe don't want to have when you're maybe on a date on the first time you want to be on the best side <laughs> um, so Vichy is a cool water for that it has again a very salty aftertaste yeah. but it has more electrolytes than a Gatorade and I think this is pretty cool as well more electrolytes than a Gatorade without any chemicals this comes from mother nature that is what I love as well, and this is the reason why we're always talking about spring waters versus maybe purified waters. And for people who haven't watched our videos yet, purified waters is nothing else than actually filtered tap water, guys. So please, when you're going to your grocery store and you want to buy a nice bottle of water, do not buy purified waters. Because this is nothing else than tap water. When you already want to drink tap, what is totally fine with me, just drink tap. No, there's nothing wrong about it, you don't need to pay for it. But when it comes to bottled water, make sure there's always a good amount of minerals in there. And even purified water companies are saying, oh, added electrolytes. Yeah, sure, added electrolytes. The electrolyte levels of, or the TDS levels of purified waters mostly are between 10 to 40 TDS. Oh, wow. We're talking about 3,050 guys here in this water, 3,050. That's a totally different TDS level. And when people are looking to go to the gym and they want to do something very healthy for them because you're sweating when you go into the gym and you need a lot of electrolytes back, go with Vichy because Vichy has tons of electrolytes and minerals. 
And that is, I think, very, very unique and very cool. And that's the reason I really love Vichy Catalan. Absolutely. Cool. And what would you pair these with? So pairing, 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 pairing. What do you think? So Vichy, here, I think this is a water for your summer barbecue. Think about a very bold steak, like mm. very rich flavors. Um, I think Vichy can really hold up to the very strong flavors of a very good barbecue or a nice burger or something like this. So I think this would be very cool. Versus Saratoga, right over here, was like very bold and bubbles, doesn't have so much minerality to it. So therefore I think um, like a steak, what is just like on the grill, but not like barbecue, not a lot of flavors. So I mean like a little lighter steaks, maybe like a veal chop hmm. or pork chops, something like this. I think this would be very, very cool with Saratoga. Here we go. Chance, do you have something else to add on our little water excursion today, guys? No, well, something talking about the pairings that I think um, is interesting. When I tasted Royce or Roy, as we know, has a ton of minerals in it as well. But I think Saratoga had a similar metallic taste to it. Mm -hmm. And I think it might be interesting to try it with oysters because that was the one thing that Roy went really, Correct. Went really well with. Correct. Well. We talked about Roy and oysters. And we should try it. I never tried Saratoga and oysters. So maybe we should try this yeah. next time. We should maybe That's start to have some fruit here. Hey, we're here at the beautiful <laughs> Platina restaurant. I have Andreas, my executive chef, right next to me in the kitchen with his amazing team. We should ask him if he can cook some food for us next time. I'm always hungry. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> Anyhow, when you want to see more videos, please subscribe to our channel right here beneath on Facebook or on YouTube because we will load it up on YouTube as well that you have it always with you. Uh, please stop by here at Patina Restaurant in downtown Los Angeles at the beautiful Waterstay Concert Hall. You will see me and Chance all the time here because we love to have you, we love to work here, we love to do water tasting with you. And I have a little surprise for you. On this upcoming Monday, I don't know if you know Tom Segura, the comedian, yeah. but I'm going to do a video with Tom Segura on Monday. <laughs> Anyhow, let's have a great funny Friday. Have a great weekend. Treat your mothers right. It's Mother's Day <laughs> on Sunday. We have a lot of reservations, so we will have a lot of fun here on Mother's Day. And hopefully we will see you soon here on our Facebook Live channel or on YouTube when you see it on YouTube. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Chance, cheers again. Cheers. Have a great day. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you next time.